All right. You are giving three points on a Cartesian plane, three coordinates, and you are asked to find a fourth one that would make your figure a square. So certain things about a square is all sides are the same length, and it has four right angles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we're going to go ahead and use the distance formula a lot. So here's the three points, A, B, C, D. So you're going to go ahead and graph your A, B, C, and D, you're just going to try to eyeball. So if these are, this is one side of a square, that's the other side, it's going to be somewhere in this neighborhood, somewhere up around here or something. Kind of looks like it's going to be that point. So let's go ahead and figure out what the length of one side is. So let's figure out what C and B is using the distance formula. There's the distance formula. We're going to substitute 4 for x1, 0 for x2, 0 for y1, and negative 3 for y2. And we're going to get a grand total distance of 5. All right. So the lengths of the, of the I'm sorry, the lengths of the sides of the square are 5. Now there's a lot of tricks you can go from here to find D. So in fact you can kind of eyeball it. It looks like the answer is going to be 1 comma 4, which turns out to be the answer, but I'm going to try to show you the proof behind all that. So we're going to find the distance formula between B and D of X. And I'm sorry, the D of XY, the unknown point. So we're going to we we're going to go ahead and repeat that with A. So let me let me pull that picture up again. Okay, we're going to try to figure out between B and D and A and D. We know that the length is, is 5 for both of these, so that's going to come in to help us here pretty soon. So let me get back to the other thing. So we're going to simply use X and Y for the values of X and Y, which makes it a much harder problem. But we don't have much options here because we don't have any part we don't have the x value or the y value for the unknown d point so but there's a trick around that so we're going to go ahead and use the distance formula between b and d leaving x and y as x and y okay you're going to substitute 4 and 0 for your first point and x and y for your second point you're going to get this crazy thing we're going to square both sides and this is the distance formula right this is the equation but you'll notice you got an x squared and a y squared we're going to turn around and repeat that process between A and D. And this is the distance formula with negative 3, 1, and XY. And do a little bit of math, do a little bit more math, add like terms, etc., etc., square both sides. So you'll notice that both B and D and A and D both equal 25. Therefore, they equal each other. So we're going to simply set these equal to each other. Okay, and we're going to cancel like terms. So you both got a y squared on either side of the equal sign. You got an x squared. They're going to cancel. Um, let's clean it up a little bit. Uh, do a little bit more algebra. A little bit more algebra. So we finally got this final equation. y equals 7x minus 3. So without going into a lot of explanation here, this is a linear equation that connects the diagonals of this square. In other words, this is the equation to the line that goes through this point, negative, I'm sorry, 0, negative 3, and whatever D is. That kind of makes it a whole lot easier. Right? So we, this was given, this is point C, 0, comma, negative 3. So if we plug in 0 for, for X, 7 times 0 minus 3 is minus 3. So it looks like it's going to be a 1 here. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 1. When we plug in 1, we get 7 times 1 is 7 minus 3 is 4. We get 4 out. So that is the suspected D point, which we kind of got from the picture in the first place. But now let's we'll real quick double check that. We're simply going to look at the distance between A and D and B and D. And if they both are 5, then this is our culprit here. This is our point. So let's do some math here. <laughs> so there's the there's A and D. So the distance between A and D is, oh, and there's the distance between B and D. We're going to do them both at the same time. So A and D, we know it's 5. Is this true, right? And it looks like it is to me. Yes, that's true. So now the distance between B and D 
should be equal to 5 as well. And so it's going to be 3 squared, right, and that's 25 again. So that is good. We have figured out the missing point that would make this a square. It has to be 1, 4. And then it was kind of a tough problem, um, but thanks for sticking it out. MGZ, out.